Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. Here's a big question. Got to start. What is um, going on on the planet right now? Hmm. Well, I just so have some information. <laughs> um, actually, if you could see uh, my office over here, uh, I've got a lot of notes, a lot of things I want to try to cover in our time together. So, um, and um, those that aren't too familiar with my work, you know, I, I, as Darius was kind enough to to mention everybody, I uh, have been a channel for quite a while. I am a second wave Palladian, and I don't trance channel, and I don't. However, I also don't always remember what I hear. So I've got notes everywhere from Ashtar and Jesus and mm. Michael and everybody here. So um, if I if I can kind of leap into something here, just a little nugget, and then we'll see where you'd like to go. Um, of course. Serious, and that is um, maybe for the newly, maybe the newly, uh, what would be the word, awakening or the newly, you know, if people don't have a lot of um, information and you're kind of new to what, your, what's going on? Um, I ask. Ashtar is a galactic commander of millions of light ships, and I guess we can even talk about what all of that is, if if that's beyond what we need to. But here's what I'd like to read. What I heard there, if I can. Okay. So, what I heard was um, today, as we speak, I am commanding a fleet of approximately 18,000 light ships over North and South America, and that's probably already uh, outdated a little bit, um, to halt advances by the grays. So in this in this kind of brief, you know, answer response to your question, there might be conceptual things that listeners haven't heard of before. Um, but in any event, to continue, this mission is of utmost importance. New challenges arise every day, and in every way as the dark ones are becoming exhausted from trying to continue to manipulate your world with millions of light sh soldiers of all ages and types on our planet now. The new plans yeah. involve seeking the aid of other light civilizations that as up to now have not been involved in our planet's well-being. This is an easy advancement. Additionally, many new light sergeants, uh, I met one, uh, certainly personally tra trained one not too long ago, um, is a three-star star sergeant. Say that three times. <laughs> anyway, to get back to the point, Many new light sergeants are growing in number to combat the evil in our world. And you touched on that at the top of the call. You know, we don't have to be involved in really any knowingness to just to know that there's still uh, darkness, negativity in this case, um, you know, what light workers, what Ashtar is calling evil in our world. Part of our plans are secret, of course, he said. Part of our plans involve each of you. And this mm. is of utmost importance. I think, to our call and hopefully to the listeners that, um, as he goes on to say, you are willing, are you willing to stand up courageously and expose darkness and continue to fight disease, hopelessness, violence, and poverty? So we, do, we from my perspective, we, you know, we do have not only a personal responsibility to ourselves, of course, but a responsibility to our planet and all the human beings on it. Um, because as as you said, and many listeners know, for quite some time now, this period we're living in has called, been called the Great Awakening. And uh, the Great Awakening actually began at least at least five decades ago from some of the information that I've received, probably uh, some would say thousands of years ago. But um, the awakening of raising the frequency of the Earth, uh, Mother Earth, who was harmed, and we could talk about perhaps her splinter and all of that if we get to it. Um, but to anyway, finish the point I'd like to make is 
to keep this in mind. Victory is almost ours, mm. our infinite creator. And the victory, again, not only Ashtar, the galactic commander, but Sananda on the higher realms, Mother Mary, and all the masters and guides, and, of course, Archangel Michael and all the ranking and phylum of angels, um, you know, the victory is lightness over darkness. And many years ago, even, I don't know, maybe like 10 years ago when Michael was sharing the second book to me, you know, he said largely this is a time of an unseen spiritual battle. And so for those listeners who may not feel energy or see energy or know it yet, um, I, I don't see. So, for example, if there's I don't know in any given moment the battle's going on unless Michael tells me or something. But the the point is that even though we may not have that energy awareness, um, this is a very important and pivotal pivotal time for um, us to open ourselves as I as I feel to new discoveries, new information. We've talk, already talked about, and many many star seeds are of course talking now about new frequencies but in that in that awareness there are new healing systems there's new information there's new plants and animals um there's new discoveries you know there's new new uncoverings you know there's new truth being discovered um so all of these things are kind of embodied in you could imagine let's say a beautiful ball of yarn or something so when people try when when I even try with all the guides that I've had in this incarnation so far and the work they asked me to do you know summarize ascension is like summarizing love i mean to 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 uh put it in a one line a bite a sound bite you know is a is a is a bit difficult part of that um i feel is the release of judgment or judgment codes and we can talk yes. about all of that kind of thing so you know, one way you, you, your listeners were asking, you know, how do I know where I am on the Ascension timeline, if I could make this uh, statement from mm -hmm. Archangel Michael. Um, some people, as he said, he's not a high-ranking angel. He's very modest, but that's what he can't, claims to say, and he doesn't pretend to be on the councils. There's many councils. But um, some people won't. Some people will on their own, already are. Um, and some people will kind of allow, be uh, facilitated more quickly with frequencies like the star healing system because of the work that it does. But, um, you know, we'll be talking about personally how we can all, you know, move into that greater space. And what I, the point I wanted to say there, if I can bring myself back into this circle is, you know, how do you know where you are? We can on the ascension timeline, we can talk about implants being removed. We can. We sh probably should. We can talk about how our DNA and the animal's DNA were encoded with harmonic codes of aggression, things like this. Hmm. Um, but the, the the to put it in a real perspective, I think you know all you have to really do, I think, is ask yourself who and what have I judged today? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And. Yeah. Um, work from there <laughs> you know whether you work with codes or whether you work with exercises or you work with your actions as you were saying about being love and kind can go just go back to that you cannot be fully ascended in a physical or etheric body um if you're if we're still making judgments and uh opinions uh you know you identify what might need to be made more well and you set your intention on it but it's different than judging but my understanding is um, all the kinds of different, you know, uh, dysfunctional kinds of things, let's call them, were put into the human and animal bodies to keep us suppressed. And for those of you that have not heard some of this teaching anyway, is that was taught to me in Michael's second book, and that was with the uh, Anunnaki and nefarious beings in other civilizations that wanted to enslave her. So when we're kind of talking about what does it mean in the times we're living in. First of all, you know, as Michael sees things, you know, this is the greatest time for celebration. So even though I've talked about some things already, about darkness and battles and things like this, you know, he reminds us that 
This is the greatest time to be alive. It's the greatest mass awakening of human consciousness in humanity's history. And all of us, whether we have conscious knowingness of it or not, chose this time to be here. So you can be holding light, you know, not necessarily be moving into a life of a healer or such a thing, or but whatever, you know, we all pre, my belief system is, and that's all I can really share, is that we pre-planned when we were going to be here when, and during this time um, to help, whether you know it or not, that's, so in any event, um, Michael considers this a very um, powerful time of transformation. Ash, Ashtar does the same. But the point I want to make here, if I can, is, you know, as you said, Darius, I believe at the top of the call here, we have choices to make when we see things like that wound our soul, you know, um, and we have choices to take action, you know, positive, loving, caring action rather than sort of dwell on that. You know, anytime we, um, let's say we condemn something, you know, you leave a doorway open for more attachments to come into the light body, and that's certainly not desirable for any of us. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barzani, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're going to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.